What is going on guys? Welcome back to Occupy Mars. In the very, very quick autosave of the day. External pressure drop. Great, that's a good thing for me for when I sync up audios and stuff. Alright, first thing we're going to do today is because I'm getting a little bit sick of the secondary colour not being black. We'll fix that. There we go, fixed. So, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, it's Thursday uh, when this video is live. So, yeah, back into the week. So, um, let's figure out what else we can do here. Um, so, we've got loads of suit batteries which I need to switch out, which uh, we'll go and do that right now. Just trying to uh, make sure everything is set correctly, uh, which we should now be. Alright, let's put all these guys on charge as well. Just so all these guys are ready to go. Right, um, I'm going to hold out a little bit longer on doing the uh, the whole pumping station thing. Um, I want your guys' opinions. Um, unfortunately, when I'm recording this, it is not quite that time yet. So, I'm thinking what I do for now is just leave it. Um, I think we've got enough water to sustain most of our stuff right now. Um, obviously, we've got plants in here which are now... 50% grown, which means they need to go outside. These guys are almost ready to go. Uh, these guys are almost ready to go as well. So, right, let's go out into the dorm. Just to see if there's any of these guys which are finished. These guys are fully grown. Uh, these guys aren't, not yet, anyway. So, what I'm thinking of doing is, I'm thinking about just grabbing this one and this one. And then I'm going to move couple of these guys over just because I can I what just happened to my pumpkin uh, it's five there we go all right well, there should be fine this side should be fine on power water and everything which by the looks of it, it is, but this side can come down on water consumption a little bit as well. Um, fortunately, these guys are in the way. Um, obviously, they're on uh, growth stage 4. I know they're bringing out an update as well where you can actually plant multiple plants in sides and stuff like that, I do believe. Uh, one of you guys did mention it, I think. So, we can actually plant like multiple crops in multiple different things just so we're not wasting space. Um, can't wait for that. Um, right now we can only do one either side, so until that update comes out, I'll be uh, excited to see it. Um, I'm thinking as well what we might do is, I really want to expand a bit more, um, but I don't really know where I want to go with the base. Like, I know some of you guys want to see me do um, uh, like the bigger, um, like the bigger domes and stuff like that. Um, I was going to try and continue some of the stuff which I was doing before where at least plant or at least put in one of each like like one of each like sort of thing um I want to reach building uh, like right now we've got uh, most of these down here um I've got like the the hangar and stuff which we can put like the uh, the rover in and stuff like that um it only costs 10 power as well which is not actually too bad but to be honest with you, it's a huge building, and I just don't really know where to put it. Really? Like, I really want to get these guys out of here and actually start planting them elsewhere. But, um, yeah, we need uh, we need the pumpkins to get there first. I can't remember what we planted back here. I think we did lettuce and pumpkins, actually. Lettuce and pumpkins. Nice. Okay, so, yeah, as soon as these guys come out of here, they are going straight into there. We've got another set which is getting planted in there. Yeah, we, sh we should be good um, for majority of food concerns. Now, what I'm going to do as well, I'm just going to do this. Um, oh, actually, we've got six pumpkins in here, um, which I am going to just quickly put in here. Not sure if these guys have got the same genetic traits. Let's have a look. Uh, 9 and 12, 5, 3. 9 and 12, 5 and 3. Yeah. Look, nope, can't. So they're slightly different. 
but yeah um all we really need now is more cabbage as soon as we get more cabbage which are, i believe are these guys um actually no these guys are fully grown oh no they're not that says it's fully grown though like 50 percent fully grown yeah, definitely not fully grown. Yeah, I'm not sure why it says that. Well, I'm guessing it's same fully grown because it's on 50% and it's on the last. Right, okay. We'll leave that for now. I will put those out there sooner. Soon. Very, very soon. Right, I guess let's um, pop our helmet on. We'll head outside. We'll go figure out what we're going to do. I have an idea what I want to do today. Um, we're going to go check on the rover and see how fully charged she is. Um, also, where did I put... Oh, yeah, that's right. We need to get the vehicle back up. <laughs> we got all about that. Open up this and see how fully charged she is. She's 56%. Okay, so she's not fully charged, but uh, she's getting there. All right, let's go over here and let's get in our, um, in our vehicle. Let's see if we can actually get it up the hill. She's almost there though. Yeah, like, look how close it is. So close, but so far. <laughs> like we just need to take more of a run up. This thing is normally actually really good at getting around, but uh Get down and then we'll give it a, a proper run. I remember how I did this before. I think I just give it like a really, really, really long run. Make sure I kept the speed up. Don't take your finger off the accelerator either. Hello. Terrain generation. Yeah, I think uh, I think I'm definitely going to do that. But um, I'm going to wait for your guys' opinions first before I start doing stuff. So let's see if we can get this thing up. Here we go. Yeah, I don't think that was... Yeah, this is not good enough. Has my mouse just died? Yeah, it has. God damn it. Am I using the wireless mouse again? Um, I haven't used it in a few weeks, so... Switch these batteries out. There we go. Back on. Back on. Mouse is back together. Ah, uh, it's not fully back together. Hold on, one minute. I haven't quite got the art of putting this thing back together yet. There we go. Next up together, alright. Right, okay. Let's see if we can get back up this hill. I can't believe I, my mouse literally died in the middle of that. I've been trying to get that battery to run flat for the, like the last little while, but... Uh, yeah, been hard to do it, and then as soon as I start recording, that's it, it's done. <laughs> Not rechargeable battery or anything, it's just that it's uh, trying out a mouse, seeing if I like it or not. Right, I'm thinking we sort of just hit. this up as much as I can without turning. How fast we're going. Hopefully fast enough. Not fast enough. Actually, no, I think we might be going fast enough. Nope, not fast enough. We're so close as well. 
I think what I'm going to go do is because this is going to be it's going to take a while for it to get up the hill. I think we're going to do this a slightly different way. We're going to go over to our um, our little site over there. I'm going to go dump it in there and then uh, come back. I honestly can't remember how I got this thing fully loaded up that hill before. I know I just hit it at speed and then... Yeah, I don't really remember. Good job we got this down here anyway. I know I can reach this one. When this thing's got like weight in the back, which... Uh, to be fair, I actually didn't realize that there was... Um, I'm so used to like the heavy rover just being able to pull anything up anything compared to like this little thing. I wish I could do some upgrades to this. Make it better. But yeah, we've got a couple of panels over here along with uh, a very small um, crusher which we can use. Before we do that, I'm just going to go and check this quickly, just to see if there's anything in here. I don't think there will be. Yep, nothing in here. Right. Uh, let's unload. There we go. Job done. Got some silicon, iron, some aluminium. Calcium from that. Very good, very nice. Right, now let's go back up to our home base. Thing should close. I hope it should. I always like to make sure that the thing closes. Thing didn't at all. But like when you drive off, it's supposed to close. Oh, safety first, just so nobody else falls in it. More than likely it'll be me on my next excursion over here. But yeah. Right, so we should be able to get over the hill fine now. With no issues whatsoever. But yeah, I think um I'm I'm still waiting for you guys to let me know about the um about the water thing over there. Is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Is it anything else? I think uh, going overboard with water, especially when we're going to be using a lot more of it. I'm going to try and get the large dome in as well somewhere. I think what we might do is we might try planning out the base a little bit more. There is some bits and pieces I want to do, but... Yeah, hmm. Maybe just planning them out might be a good idea think. Hmm. Yeah, so I definitely want to maybe put like a large dome in just so we can have like well, more dome space really. Um, obviously having more plants, but I'm thinking about actually, let's just use this as a as a vehicle. Yeah, we got up there fine, by the way, when we're not loaded at all. Um, so, right, what we'll do is we'll park this here for a minute. Now, maybe tell you a couple of plans I have. But first things first, let's just... Uh, let's just put all of this in here. Alright, plan is... Actually have more stuff out over here. Um, so I was thinking maybe he's coming out of the first greenhouse, maybe he's having uh, like an, uh, an airlock, um, just so obviously it separates it from the rest of the base. Oh, actually, mm, yeah, actually, yeah, probably an airlock, just to separate it. And then maybe he's putting like a large dome out here, might be a cool idea. So obviously it'll be... From here. Oh well, the large dome's actually got um, other bits and pieces on it. Right, so I was thinking maybe something like this. 
So sort of, uh, we'll, we'll put it in. Not gonna harm us doing it. I'm putting that in and then doing um, large dome. I'm looking like it might have to go up or down a bit. Now trying to figure out how this is going to fit in. Oh, pressing Q instead of W. Um, this thing's literally not wanting to uh, to place here at all. Can't rise it up. Great, another incoming sandstorm. Yeah, but I can't seem to put this in here, which is a little annoying. Um, this is where I was thinking of putting it anyway, but what we'll do is we'll probably think about it a bit more. I do want to put it here. I think it's a good idea. Um, but for now, yeah. Now, we've got some things which we can do inside, which is okay. Um, we can maybe do some tidying up. Um, I've also got some things I want to do inside. Um, there's nothing what I really want to do outside here, actually. Um, we've got... I just want to check the water levels. Yeah, all this is going up through the roof now. So, yeah, we've got plenty of storage. So, I'm thinking about maybe doing that water stuff a little bit later. Um, obviously, when we get, like, a, another bigger dome, uh, stuff like that involved. I think we're going to have more stuff which we're going to have to, um... Like obviously more uh, more stuff we're gonna have to have. Yeah, we're actually doing okay on rods, actually. I think my um my uni uranium rods are definitely getting used well. Uh, obviously, once you get production going, it actually makes it really really easy. All right, so I guess what I'll do is I'll go grab some. Okay, let's go through there. Um, I'm gonna go grab some more uranium. Uh, so we can start popping those in. And um, we'll just keep these guys going as best as we can. Uh, so I'm going to need 80. It's starting to get really, really dark in this room. <laughs> the sun's, uh, sun's gone uh, behind some clouds. I'm not actually recording too late on actually today. It's um, actually a really good... Uh, yeah, these, are, these are almost done, so... As soon as these get done, we'll uh, reload them up and go again. Just waiting for this to finish. Good job, good job time still clicking. There we go. That's my four rods. I think that's the first time I've ever caught that on camera, actually. There we go. There's one off. Get these guys going. I've got to say, definitely just having one of these is not enough. Obviously, we've got that much uranium. The only thing we can actually do with uranium is uh, pretty much this. I think what we might do is we might do a bit of mining maybe tomorrow. Uh, in tomorrow's episode, maybe. Um, I do want to plan more stuff around the base, but... To be honest with you, there's not really much more I can do other than maybe go building down there. Uh, we're storing enough water, we're producing enough power... Um, I planned out power there, which can even power the base, um, if push comes to shove. Um, I'm not sure what I think about this entrance and exit yet. I might just pop it in, just so then we've got it. But I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not. I'm, I'm, like, debating with myself right now, do I want to just build it, just to build it, or... Should I wait? I'm going to wait a little bit longer. I'm going to see what you guys think about this one as well. So let me know what you think of that. Um, our production over here is good. Um, yeah. Right, let's check on the base. Um, just to see what's going on. Um, right, which one... Uh, that's good. That's low. Checking all these. One of you guys actually did mention just to click on all of this. Just to... I like the structural stuff. To be fair... 
it is good but i really like to do it this way where i can just go you good you're good <laughs> you're good you're good you're good you're good i do like the more of the visual side of it more than the uh pulling up a tablet and then looking at the tablet just makes it a lot sometimes you can actually spot them before you even get to them but uh, it tends to be like the, the far connectors like this joint here is low storm's good why do i always do this like right as a storm's coming yeah they're all good from the thing oh that one's a little bit damaged Greenhouse over here is damaged though as well. I do I did notice that in the um in the thing. What we'll do is we'll continually walk down it like this. So we're repairing it and we're also getting to a destination where we want to be. Yeah, I just wanted to check uh this one, that one's good. We'll check this connector here. We're good. Greenhouse is good. Workshop's good. Let's go check down here. You're good. You're good. I do like the, the visual aspect in actually doing this this way. It's so much easier. Like, yeah, I do like the tablet way of doing it. Like, if you need to go check it, but... Right. Uh, I think we're good um, internally, actually. Right. Let's go move this uh, rover over here. Cause we're going to go pack it back in its normal place. Actually, does this thing need repairing? Because I don't actually ever check this thing. No, she's fine. Right, let's um, let's go park her up. We'll just reverse it. It's easy enough. Hmm. Yeah, I did put that there. Okay, that's good. Um, this guy is charging. What we're going to do is we're just going to close the door on it. I really wish like um. Like, you had some more stuff. Like, if you left, like, a door open or something, it would, like, get a bit dirty on the inside. But since I know there's a sandstorm coming, I will make sure that everything's closed. Do need to actually probably move those little guys somewhere else. Oh. I used to press in forward when I want to stop. Uh, sorry, backwards when I want to stop, not keep going backwards. Uh, but, yeah, I do need to fix this with a... Thing. Actually, is this thing like low? No. Good. Yeah, good. Yeah, so much nicer just having those. These guys are good to go. These guys are powered up. Um. Yeah, I'm just unsure what I really want to do for. Well, I don't know if I really want to switch everything over to like complete this power or not. But uh, for now, I think we're good. Um. One thing I do want to do, though, is I do want to head north if I can eventually. Um, I'm just going to have a look on the map for... I've got water there. I'm just wondering if there's any more water sources, like, locally. I don't think there is. I think that is the closest water source to me. Yeah, it is. So, yeah, this is where we're going to have to get water from if we need it. I think it's a good idea to have it down there. Alright, let's head inside before the storm hits. Well, also reached the other day. I've done nothing today, but just ramble and do nothing, but it's fine. Right, okay, what we're going to do, though, is we're actually going to open these and grab all my pen drives. I'm actually going to pop them in a table as well. Realize a couple of the comments from you guys from last week were mentioning this, and I was going to do it, but uh, never got around to it. Might actually repair some circuit boards as well while we're on just checking all these boxes just to see if everything's good nothing broken which we need to take care of also just making I'm sure I'm not missing any pen drives yeah okay we're good um so I think this one here's got broken ones in it yeah it has uh, or at least it's got one broken in it uh these two are empty correct Correct. Okay, so I'm going to take those two out. Warning. Weather alert. Incoming 
there's that incoming sandstorm. I'm just going to um, move all of these guys out of that and just move these guys into my inventory. Right. So let's let's go work out some pen drives, shall we? So um, mechanics table is the mechanics one we want. Uh, yeah. So we've got a couple of points over here which we could spend. Um, I haven't actually been in here in a while, so uh, we could get like Jackhammer three if I wanted. Uh, anything else I could actually get? We'll probably get the jetpack. I've actually never really used it. Might be a good thing to try out and try and kill myself with. Um, ITV rocket engine. Yeah, don't really need that. Uh, antennas and stuff, we can probably get those. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure if there's anything in here I really want to unlock. Other than maybe... Maybe just get the drone, maybe. I did mess around with that once. Uh, anything I actually really want to get in here? Camera 3 would be nice, but... Hmm... You know what? Let's get check number three. Uh, and I'm going to leave this point here for now. Um, there's one reason I went for that. Is because I can actually upgrade my jackhammer here. We can do it now while the sandstorm's outside. We can't actually do much while the sandstorm's incoming. Uh, which I'm guessing is any time now. Uh, and what we'll do as well is we'll come over here into this workbench. Which we need to power up. And I'm just going to slap all these pen drives in here. Uh, if I can. So, first things first, let's get them out of my inventory. I think that mostly in here. Uh, these are materials, mechanics, like botany, electricity. I think we can just dump all most of these guys in, I think. Give it a go. So I'll just do that, 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 that. Um, where's the rest of them in here, aren't they? Put any one in. Just pull these guys out. I think I could actually just put all these guys in here. There we go. Right, start decoding. That can do its decoding thing uh, while we're busy doing other things. Um, these guys are going to come out and go into the um, into the rover. Uh, I'm going to go grab the other ones from next door as well. That's sandstorm in yet? No. So we'll do this tomorrow, I think. Yeah, I had a really good plan as well about moving, um, moving probably to, I uh, will go outside, we should be okay. Now it decides to come. <laughs> right, I guess what we'll do is we'll come over here and we'll go and do, um, some garden and stuff, I guess, while we wait. Uh, these guys are almost ready though. Um, these guys are ready, almost. Need these guys to hurry up so I can actually move some things out here. And we can't sleep until this storm's over as well. Like these guys, ready, those guys are ready to go out as well. Uh, these guys are ready to go. These guys are ready to go. These guys aren't. Hurry up and grow. <laughs> well, these guys need to hurry up and grow. Those guys outside need to hurry up and go, actually. Um, yeah, there's, there's nothing really I can actually do inside. Um, other than set off those pen drives. Um, let's go grab our new upgraded uh, tool, though. There we go. Oh, this is only repaired. Uh, let's upgrade it. Had to, had to repair it first before upgrading it. Right, let's upgrade. There we go from... 
two to three. Let's watch it. Watch it with this intense music, which is ongoing currently. <laughs> Going from orange to red. I really do like the red tools. I think I mentioned that a few times before. I really do like them. That I feel like um, where I was when I finished season one. Um, getting more mechanics stuff is actually taking a little bit longer but yeah what we'll do is well can I exit this please thank you is um I can't remember what I was going to say anyway right let's do some circuit boards shall we let's repair some of those guys um where did I put them not in that box not in that box Did I put them in a box? Where did I put them? Or did I just pull them out of here and put them in here like an idiot? No, I just put them in there like an idiot. Right, okay, what we'll do is... Why that sandstorm still going? Which I think it's stopped, actually. Yeah, it has. That was a short-lived sandstorm. I guess what we'll do for the rest of the day, we'll repair these, uh, these guys. Because these are actually quite fun to repair. Okay, so it looks like we're missing um, a plug on the top. Uh, it looks like we've got three broken components down there. So let's have a look, shall we? So I think what we'll do is we'll move to the hot air gun. We'll figure these guys out. So um, we rotate it like this. Looks like it's this component here that's dead. And then two here. Okay, so let's have a look, shall we? So just remove these guys. Okay, just so you guys can see they're a little bit better. A little mini game here. Now what is it? It's a monolithic type 3. Type 3. What are the solder and iron? And we'll just solder this back down to the board. Dehydration detected. Oh great, now we're dehydrated as well. Get in. Right, and it looks like this guy here, so it's coil type 1. Oh, that's not what I wanted. So, looks like we need to remove the coil type 1. And we need two coil type 1s, put them back in. Move the coil type 1. As a resistor, coils are over here. So coil type 1 can go there. And let me just grab another one. Another one's needed right there. What we'll do is we'll solder these guys back down to the board. You don't take too long. I need to rotate it enough just so I can see the thing. Okay, there we go. So we've got that. So we've got a component which is around about right here. Which is missing. Now what are you up there? You're a uh, plug type 1. Uh, plug type 1, you can go there, my good friend, and let's pull this guy in. Let's see what I need to do here. Uh, there's one of the solar pads right there. Dehydration critical. I need to go sort out my dehydration here in a second. it over see if we can see anything on the back can't see anything on the back so somehow I've got to figure out where the other solder pads are uh, I'm guessing there's two I oh, know it's done Okay, so we just now need to put in coil type 5. So, coil type 2, type 3, type 6, type 5. Goes right. Just grab another one.
why can't I place this anywhere? I don't know why it's not allowed me. Right, let's, um, can I exit this? Temporarily. Right, we need to start out a water situation. And it's like, also, it's like 2 a.m. So, right, what we'll do is we'll sleep, we'll wake up in the morning, we'll finish these guys off. It shouldn't take us too long. Actually, I think we've done that anyway. Right, let's, um, let's go to sleep, wake up in the morning. We'll continue with, uh, with some of these repairs, which, uh, we'll sleep until about 6.30. Why not? Just becoming daybreak as well. There we go, this plants are ready to harvest. Right. So I think I fixed Yep, that is done. Okay, so the large one's done. So what we'll do is I'll just go over in there for now. Right, let's go repair these um these are these all like uh these are the ones so small and the small okay so the small ones are actually quite easy to um to repair as well right let's go with this first small one so that's um repair it looks like there's a coil here which is dead which these guys all look like the coil uh, resistors type ones so right we need a resistor type one anyway so pop you in solder it down I can actually see the pads, which I can just barely see there. Okay, if I rotate that a little bit more, there's the other one. Okay, now we need to grab the heat gun and physically see the uh, the pads. Great fun mini game, this actually. I really do enjoy doing this type of thing. Right, you can come off. Resistor type one goes back on. Let's solder it down. There we go. There's that one done. Just do this one as well, which this one shouldn't take too long. Um, not actually tell me what it's wants me to do to it up there so I'm gonna to have to try and figure it out myself get in oh that was a fail yep uh, let's get that out you back switched out oh seriously I've got two bad ones again actually I might just gained a one <laughs> probably right okay let's um that was a glitch um right let's pop you uh I'm not sure which ones of these are full or not full right here. Let's just do this. I think I just glitched out and actually managed to uh This one's nice and easy, so we've got these two components here which are dead. Which are fairly easy to remove. Random resistor right there. Carl, whatever it is. Right, there we go. Oxygen, 
that in uh, what was the other one it was a uh, monolithic which I don't think I can actually put back in because it's uh, glitched out just a tad Sometimes this mini game is a little bit buggy, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, what was it? Was it a monolithic type one? Which it won't let me grab. Well, there we go, I've got one full one there as well, so, right, let's just do this other one. Okay, so it looks like there's a bad trace, and. Uh, the CPU is not even there. <laughs> uh, so the CPU is... Uh, it's the CPU type 1. Only if repairing like components in real life was as easy as this. It's not. And I think the bad trace is this one right here actually. That's how you do the bad traces. There you go. It's easy. Done. As easy as that. I think we also gained another circuit board from that, but yeah. I'm not gonna cry too much. Right, let's go fill up our um our waters. Water refill. Because we've actually got some. I think what we'll do after that we'll go do go put these guys in the um in the rover. See how far the rover is charged as well. I'm not getting any outages yet in the in the base. Just good. Right. Let's go see how fully charged this is and put these guys in here. Uh there was four, so these guys in here oh i've got one too many not gonna cry about that either right um this guy's almost full of water as well which is good uh we've still got this smart uh, circuit board here which i'm actually going to go put somewhere um because we're gonna we're gonna tidy up a little bit it's gonna be like a tidy up get things done around base type of episode um right so this guy is going to get a circuit board temporarily while i move it Probably because I'm not going to drive this thing much anymore. Whoops. I'm going to actually just pack it in here. Should I pack it in here or should I pack it somewhere else? Um. Actually, I know where I'm going to go park it. I don't think I can get it through there, or can I? Actually, I might. Yeah, I can. Because it's a thing I'm not going to use much anymore. I'm thinking about just like popping it here for now. Like out the way, out of mind. Probably not going to touch it much. Oops, I am not driving this very well in reverse whatsoever. Right, there we go. Just take it slowly, and we'll just tuck it in. I think there will do. Yeah, there will do. Right, anything in the back of this thing I need. No, nothing. Nothing whatsoever. Right. Backup board can just come out. You can just like sort of like live here for now. And this guy can get back somewhere else. Um, I think what I might do with this guy is I might just tuck it in next to the batteries there. This thing I'm probably going to use from time to time. Right, I 
I think that's good. There we go. Right. Uh, you can stay there because you're actually useful. Right, let's go do some plant stuff. Because I'm pretty sure I got um, plants already to be harvested and stuff like that. So we'll go do that. And I think tomorrow, hopefully if the um, rover is good to go, uh, even if it isn't, we're going to go head out somewhere. Um, you guys are good to go. Right, okay, these guys are ready to be harvested. Sweet. Uh, right, let's just take all these pumpkins out. Pumpkins are done. Thing fries are done. Alright, what we'll do for now is I'll just pop these guys in here, which I don't think they'll want to go on top of anything. Oh, they would do want to go on top of those. Okay, that's cool. Right, um, I'm probably going to need you, and I'm probably going to need my planter and stuff as well, aren't I? Alright, so let's get these guys ready. We'll just do this bit slowly. I'm not really too fussed about doing this fast. Let's just figure out what we're doing. Right, okay. So, um, you guys are going outside. Get grown. So, well, not really going outside. They're going out in the greenhouse. Uh, not in the greenhouse, sorry, the dome. Sort of technically outside in a way. But now, how we just shove that in his back pocket? Right, let's just reduce these guys down to nothing because they don't really need anything right now. We'll come up here. Press number four, you'll pull it back out of his back pocket and we'll start planting again. Once these guys are fully grown, we should have fruit production under control. Like fully under control. Okay, so let me just bring that down to bring that where it needs to be. And we'll just reduce these guys down to nothing. But put that on uh point zero one. So that's done. Right. We'll sort out the rest of our Are these guys done? No, not quite. They're going to be done like today, but these guys are pumpkins, which the pumpkins over there I can actually move. I might actually move some pumpkins around. Alright, so I think what we'll do move these guys down. Move this down. Okay, so these guys I can't move yet because, um, well, they're not ready to go. Right, but the pumpkins can. Uh, let's hit number four. You guys can all go outside in the dome. So, guess that there's not enough soil. Then there's now. Right, there we go. There's that done. These guys should be growing reasonably well now, actually. There we go. Right, I guess what we will do then is we'll get some pumpkins out of here. Now, of that. I have the um, like the seed mic on me as well. Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. 
Uh, so tip number four. Right, let's get these guys out of here. It's empty. Like, I'm pretty sure that's not empty. Trying to figure out where we need to pick these guys up from. There we go. All right. Stop popping them in here. Okay, we're good. Um, just kick these guys off. Pick this guy on. And let's go plant some crops. There we go. The only thing I'm not growing right now is, um, well, lettuce, which is currently still growing through our system. Which these guys are growing quite rapidly, actually. Uh, these guys are growing nicely as well. So, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with uh, the way everything's going. Uh, we can't really make any more seeds. Like, we've got pumpkins going here. Uh, we're going to have them out here in a minute as well, so... Uh, I think I'm quite happy with the pumpkins. Um, you know what? What we'll do is we'll make um, we'll make another sea magazine ready for like the next set. Right, put these guys back in here. And we'll put these guys in there. And right, what we'll do is we'll make sure that you're on the modification station. And we'll do a good old, uh, figure out which ones are the best. So these are doing 9 and 12, 5 and 3. Okay, so it doesn't really matter, right? Let's just take out of these guys. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to split it down to 10. How many seeds that gives me? That gives me 21, which is too many. That'll give me 19. Sixteen. That'll do. There we go. There's our seeds made. Ready for our next batch of um pumpkins ready to go in. So we're almost well, we're we're pretty much there for making food. And uh, we can start, well, <laughs> we, we can make one <laughs> at the moment. Um, we're not too far off, though, uh, which is good. Uh, and then we can put that there. We just need some more cabbage, which is currently on its last stage of growth. Um, but yeah, from that to harvest, I'm probably going to end up turning like the majority majority into seeds. And then the seeds are going to get like instantly planted type of thing. So, yeah. Right, we'll figure that bit when we come to it. Uh, what time is it? It's afternoon. Uh, right, what can we do with our afternoon? Um, let's go see if these pen drives are done. Yes, I'm guessing they should be done by now. Um, yeah, so we got um, some biology points. We got a nice chunk of um, mechanic points. So, yeah, we'll take it. There we go. Right, well, there's that done. Pen drives taken care of as well. Uh, I guess you can just get turned off for now then. Um, don't think we actually leveled though, did we? Mm, we've got a good chunk. Good chunk, just not enough. Right, I think what we'll do then tomorrow is... Mm, I really want to head out and go and check out... Um, one of our crash sites, which we visited, um, like sort of like last episode or so. Um, I just need to figure out where it was. All right, what's this here? Uh, that's a point of interest. Another point of interest there, look. All right, where was it though? Was it over here? Find it interesting, and I think this was the crashed ship. Yeah, 
So I want to go here. Um, my question is, is how far away is that? It's not too far away. But yeah, I think that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Um, plus maybe it's a bit of mining. We're going to go visit that ship. We've got um, everything we sort of need. Um, the One of you guys did say take a big solar panel with you and everything, which I think I've got all the materials for. Also take like a like medium circuit boards with you. Actually, I need to stock back up on medium circuit boards. So I think that's what I'm going to do now is just stock up on some circuit boards just so then we've got them. Uh, these guys are all small. So I think what we'll do is I'll just put these here for now. Um, I'll open up this and I need medium. So mediums. Um, medium. Small, small, medium. Small, small, small. Right, so what I'll do is I'm just going to drop these guys in here. Reopen up this box. I'm just going to dump these guys in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm then going to open up my box. I'm putting these mediums in. So I've got small, 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 mediums, and larges. Always carry that box on me. And I forgot I was missing one in here. Okay, so that I can go in there. There we go. Right, let's make sure I've got everything I need. Go ahead and out as well. Uh, you know what, it just claps all. Um, right, so for electricity, um, have I got enough for a medium panel? Yes, I do. So I've got plenty of that on me. Um, you guys said take a circuit board with you. I've got loads of those. Um, we've got... These guys are full and ready. So I'm... Well, not full, but I've got loads of them. So I'm not really too fussed about those. Take all these guys with us as well. Actually, I think I'll offload some solar cells. Uh, let's go offload some solar cells. We'll go out this door. Just gives us easier access to the uh, the what's it called. Need to wait for the pressure to drop. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll pop in these solar cells, which I still think I'll have plenty of. Uh, I've got plenty of packs of screws. Right, let's just make sure I've got enough to build at least a medium solar panel, which... Yes, I do. I have everything I need, so oh, that's good. Uh, is there anything else I need, actually? Um, no, not really. But um, yeah, just to let you guys know, one of my plans is to head north um, to the polar regions uh, where it snows and stuff. We're going to take limited resources with us. So we're going to have whatever water we take with us, um, plus some like building materials and stuff. Um, probably in the back of one of those guys um, and then we'll head to there and we'll like plunk down some water generation we're going to start more or less from scratch but with like limited supplies um, so what I'll probably do is I'll probably have enough just for a workshop um, probably enough for maybe like a battery uh, like a full out battery fully filled out um, probably enough resources to take like uh, like power like this type of power generation we're gonna power by nuclear um so yeah we're gonna take those with us i'm gonna take a battery just so we can like you know harvest some of the battery power just in case these things get hit or anything like that um we've then got some sort of backup for the base and plus then you know stored energy we can pump it into other things um yeah, so we'll, we'll do that. I think that's a good idea. I think it's like sort of starting afresh, somewhere different, away from home base. It gives a little bit of extra life to the game um, because I don't really want to stop the series. And to be fair, I'm not really sure on what I really want to record next, to be honest with you. Um, right, before we end today, though, is I'm just going to go check the... Um... Yeah, okay, so um, storage production on this is actually fine. We're not dipping too much into reserves. We're actually getting a lot of, well, pumping a lot of water to it. So it's not using it, which is a good thing. Is there anything else I want to talk about? Um, no, actually. I think, like, the base is protected. Um, I'm not sure what I think about that. 
Um, also the water. Um, I'm not sure if, what, what I want to do for that. I'm going to hold out until you guys um, see the video. Um, but yeah, these guys aren't... Well, these guys are done. Um, but there we go. We've got 102. <laughs> over 102 of these guys now. So, yeah. Getting plenty of rods. Which, um, I'm only going to take so many rods with me, I think. Um, a lot of the, obviously, resources and stuff like that, once we're done where we are, um, are going to come back with me to home base. We're going to leave some sort of presence up there. Um... Or we obviously have to produce oxygen and stuff like that. Like, if we have to, we can live on the rover for a while. I know that much. So, that'll be a thing. Alright, let's go fill these guys up. Just so they produce some more rods. We need... We do need some more rods, to be fair. Um, Obviously, building those guys. Actually, how many do these take on rods? I can't really remember anymore. I take four rods each, so yeah, we've got quite a few there. Uh, we've got quite, quite a few uh, nuclear power options. I sort of wish, like, um, like these guys would actually sort of like, um, like the the nuclear power stuff, like, wouldn't last forever. But yeah, this is what it is. Uh, I didn't start any of those, did I? No. Did I start the first ones? Yeah, I did. Pop these guys in here. To be honest with you, like, these guys are actually working really well, all four of them. Alright, let me just do this one. Right, and what we'll do is we'll go check the um, the power in the rover. Go see how full it is. God, it's only at like sixty-seven <laughs> percent. Is that because I've like I'm like sort of like trickle charging it? Do I need to go, like, hook it up to uh, some, like, nuclear power? I can't even remember how much power we're actually giving it now. Let's go double check. So, we're giving it, um, like, 4.4 kilowatts. Yeah, that's probably why. I can't remember what the, like, the max charge rate for the thing is. I think it's something like, isn't it like 10 or something like that? Or 15 kilowatts. And then if they're more than 15 kilowatts, it's just, like, overkill. Um, you know what? Um, actually, we'll charge this up overnight, and then what I'm going to do is tomorrow morning, I'm actually just going to, just for, uh, actually, no, we'll go, we'll go in somewhere tomorrow, aren't we? So, yeah, this is going to get unplugged. We'll plug it in somewhere else, um, tomorrow. Right, um, anything else I want to do outside here, uh, today? No, today's been a bit of an all-over-the-shop thing. Um, actually, let's go check in here. I don't think I've left anything in here, have I? This is a thing I haven't actually been in in such a long time. I don't even remember if there's anything even in here. I don't think there is. Other than the med kits. The med kits are sort of like emergency med kits I'm leaving in here. Just in case I need them, but at this stage I don't even think I'll need them. Like even like the ones on like side of... Yeah, okay, there's nothing in here. That's fine. It's been a long time since I actually used this capsule at all. Our little beginning survival capsule. With all of our tools and stuff. Yeah. Still produces a little bit of oxygen. A little 3D printer with uh, nothing in it whatsoever. I do miss this little thing. 3D printer did some work though back in the uh, back a while ago. You can actually sleep in those chairs if we wanted to. But no. Right, let's close her up. I was just making sure there's nothing in there. But uh, there you go. 
Five capsule. That thing was our lifeblood. Pretty much for a long time. Right, I think what we'll do though is... Well, we've got a few minutes left in the episode. We'll actually repair the rest of our tools. It's not going to take too long to repair. Uh, let me just close that down as well. Ah, that's cool. Normal mode. Didn't even know there was something more than a normal mode. What I'll do is I'll just grab this straight off here. Alright, what else do we need to repair? We'll repair this. This here shouldn't take too long. Leave this just because it's not really needed. And it's got loads of life left in it. So, yeah, I think that's what we'll do tomorrow is we'll head out over there to this location. We're going to go check out um, that location. We might do some grinding, maybe. Um, there's a couple of bases that way on where they've got domes and stuff. So, I'm thinking about uh, maybe just going and grabbing some of those. But uh, other than that, I think that is about it for today. Um, let's take off our helmet. Um, we'll make sure all of our resources are good. Uh, we've got plenty of food, uh, which we're going to take with us. Um, we'll eat some food. Um, oxygen, I guess what we'll do is we'll switch those out. And we'll, uh, we'll refill our water as well before we end the episode. Yes, it has been one of those episodes where I don't think I've really achieved anything. Um, it was sort of like just like a chill, laid-back episode um, where I just got some things which I needed to get done. Done. Water I know you guys are probably not going to like this episode. I didn't get much done whatsoever. Didn't do any exploring. No, nothing. Right, I'm going to end this one here. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one. Uh, if you guys have, hit the like button. If not, dislike button's right next to all. Hit subscribe if you guys haven't already. Other than that, I'm in this one right here. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next one. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Porky? <laughs>